Hello everyone, Buddy Blackford here with another After Effects CS6 tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you about auto trace. So, have you ever had one of those days where you're basically just feeling really lazy at work or maybe at home when you're working on your demo reel or something like that and you're just like, "Man, I really don't want to rotoscope or I really don't want to mask out all the parts of this guy." So, there's an option in After Effects that works and uh, does that for you, although it's not like the best tool ever, but um, sometimes for images that are crisp and clear and uh, maybe that are like one color instead of like, like this is one color, but I mean, this is a whole bunch of colors. This would be hard to auto trace. So there I'll show you the tool how to do that so it's actually very easy come up into click on your layer in the layers panel and I brought this one out here that has the uh, uh, the squish that has the transparency there and go to layer auto trace and this pop-up comes up now if you have something nice and crisp like this you can use the alpha which is going to be, since there's transparency on this, it's just going to be the black. Or if you invert it, it's just going to be the uh, blue parts, um, the transparent parts. So what you want to do is uh, click on this preview right here so you can see what's going on. And you can see that there's different uh, masks being made. There's four of them. So let's click OK. And now I'm going to enable my masks so you can see. And now we've got him masked out all the way around. Now, why would you want to do something like this? What's having a mask going to benefit me on this? Well, uh, let's try copying these masks onto a solid. Let's copy these eyes. Control C to copy, or you can come up here to edit copy. I'm going to create a new solid. Let's name it eyes. You can see where I'm going here, probably. Paste it in. And we'll set these to add. Yep. I'm going to click off. Now, parent these eyes to your, to your dude here. And now I can move him around, and he has different colored eyes. Ooh, nice. So there's one uh, example of why you would do it. Now, suppose you have an image like I had uh, before in one of my later tutorials. I'm going to hide this guy. And we can go to um, Squish PNG here. And it has the white all around it. All right, let's try to auto trace this because we want to get the white out of the background. Well, you're using alpha, and the alpha on this is the whole entire picture. So you want to come down here into this drop down menu and click on luminescence. And now you're getting um, the different parts of him being cut out because it's basing this on the black and white or the brightness of the image so we can hit OK now let's open up our masks here and turn on our masks with that now we have to set these to subtract no, not that one These ones to subtract. See this this uh, mask right here was the main. Must have been the main mask. So now we have taken everything out. The thing about um, using the live trace, as you can see, it left a bunch of white. And I mean, I'm sure you really don't want that. So a way to get around that is. We can add an effect on called a, a matte choker. And um, 
I'm going to get out. I'm going to close these panels here because I don't. I don't need them anymore. Close, close. I'm gonna close this brushes panel. I just had. I was just was working on certain stuff. And there's in your effects and presets. There is if you type in matte choker, you get this one right here, and you can go ahead and drag it onto your image. And you can see it already pretty much got a, a rid of all the white, even though it's a, it's also a little choppy though. So we have to mess around with the settings on here. So if you mess with the softness, I'll just do that real quick. You can see it like softens it out. And then when you mess with the choke here, it, sh it, it just how much it cuts into the object. So you you just want to mess around with these settings. The gray level softness um, just like kind of like blurs it on the edge, as you can see there. Which a little too much, kind of like doesn't look good. So, I mean that's that's how you can uh, pull white out of a out of an image if you if you really need to. So let's close this out and then. I mean, I picked an image that was easily uh, traced. So let me bring up something that you might think might be easily traced, but it's really not. 